Hi, welcome to episode 52 of the Passionate Spirit Podcast. My name is Tracy. You can find me at Schnüffelt here on Ravelry and Instagram. There is a Ravelry group for this podcast and there's also a blog. Thank you so much for being here and I apologize in advance. I'm not my bubbly, excited self today. I just had an awful week and I really thought about not podcasting today, but crafting is what makes me happy. So... I wanted to podcast anyways. And also, this is part of life, you know. I could, of course, only show you myself when I'm super happy, but I'm not always super happy. So this is just part of me and this shouldn't be hidden away, I think. So, <sighs> I'm not wearing hand knits. It's way too warm. We've, we have summer, you know, it's just hot. <laughs> so no hand knits. I have no knitting in the past. I really wanted to, but it just didn't happen. I am working on stuff. I started a new project yesterday. It is the Close to You shawl by Justina Larkowska or something else similar. Oh, great way to freeze. Wonderful. My life just keeps getting better today, doesn't it? Okay. So, this is the shawl. The pattern is a free download on Ravelry. You can go and download it. Um, it's, like I said, a free pattern. I folded it so I had the important part showing. I have decided to use a skein of yarn from Expression Fiber Arts. And this is her... Resilient Superwash Merino Sock in the Chloe Passion Flower. It's a little bit thicker, which is good because the yarn called for in the pattern is um, also a bit thicker. And the yarn in the pattern calls for a yarn with 365 meters and this has 366. So I should be fine. This is how far I've gotten. I finished two of the pattern repeats. It's really simple. It's relaxing to knit and the yarn is really nice to work with. Um, I showed last week that I got four skeins of this stuff in a different color for a sweater. And I think that was a good idea because it's really nice. So yes, this is coming along. I am knitting this with my Holz und Stein olive wood needles. These are not the ones that broke. Those were Adi. This is different. These are fixed circulars. And I have everything in my little Della Q bag that my mom gave me a while ago. And I really like it. It's, it's a nice little bucket that holds everything. So yes new shawl on the needles because I wear shawls a lot. <laughs> I don't, but I love knitting them. So I do. Okay. Now the next thing, the one that's almost done is my breathing space sweater by Vera Valley Mackie. You all know this sweater. It's all over Inst uh, Instagram and Ravelry and everywhere. So this is the pattern. I am at the second sleeve right now. I hoped to get away with using only two of my three Volmeise skeins, but I think I have to wind the third skein. That's all I have left. This is the hand spun. I have plenty of that. And I am halfway done with the second sleeve. So it looks like this right now. The first sleeve is done and I'm working on the second sleeve. I tried it on, it fits, it's going to be amazing. I cannot wait to have this done. I will finish this today. I really want to. And I might I might be able to do it. So this is how the striping works it out on the second sleeve. I love it. I just love it. I think I picked perfect yarn for this for me. And um, I'm super excited to get back to my second version of this because I have a second version and a third. This will happen someday. 
Now these are the two things that I have worked on. I haven't worked on anything else. I just didn't knit this week at all. I think I knit the first stitches yesterday since I last podcasted. And this is when I started the shawl and in the evening I knit on the sleeve and that was it. Now I'm gonna put that back in here. So I want to start new things. I want to start the Serenity Sweater by Hohi Locatelli. It's out of Interpretations Volume 2 and it calls for sock yarn or fingering weight yarn and um, I am going to use fingering weight yarn from different German indie dyers. I had those four skeins of yarn laying around and I just saw how similar they were so I decided to use them together. Wow, this is not mirrored today. What? Huh, now this feels weird. This one here is the first color. This here is the last. Does it always look like this? I'm confused now. Okay, I don't care. So this one here with the green will go to my face. And then I will work my way down. I'm not going to do this in uh, stripes or, you know, one row in one yarn. I want to do this as simple as possible. So I'm going to start with this skein of yarn, which looks like this. It is from Ätherische Öle und Meer. And I will knit all the way down until the yoke is done and the sleeves are divided. And then I'll check how much I have left because you know I want to do the sleeves in the same manner as I do the body. And when I've worked my way through this one I'm gonna do a little blending technique to blend over to the next skein of yarn which has a little less of the light gray but some pink in it instead and this skein is from Sockenrolla. She's another German indie and it didn't come with a real label because this is very old. So when I'm done with this skein here, I'm going to blend into this one, which is Wollmeise in the Xabel und Rosi colorway. That is the exact same one as this, but without the green. And lastly, I will blend into this skein of yarn, which is another Ätherische Öle und Meer with a hair from my little lovely cat. And it has a... Oops! <laughs> It still has a little bit of the pink, but it also has a blue. So I have no idea if this will work. I, I hope it will. I'm super excited for it. So yeah, this is going to be my serenity sweater. I hope, I hope it will work out. I will make it work. So let's put this away. Oh, and I did write the number on it, you know, one through four. So I know which skein comes when. And the other thing I want to knit, and I still have to wind the yarn, is the new pattern by Stephen West. It's called Boardwalk. I'm going to show the first page because there's nothing important on here, except for yardage stuff. This is his newest release, I think. this is what the shawl looks like. It's a nice big huge shawl because I love those and I do use them. And I decided to use yarn from Query Fiber and it's this yarn. I have two skeins of this yellow. Colorway is Dalek. It's all on the tweed base. And I have two skeins of Explosion, and I know the top one is a little bit more yellow than the bottom, but I don't care. This will work. This is going to be my shawl. I think it's going to look nice, don't you? I think it's great. Um, and you do need two skeins of each color for the large version, and I totally want to do the large version. So this is going to be a shawl. 
I'm going to wind this as soon as I've finished podcasting. Now, and that's it for um, what I want to start. I'm going to be alone with the baby for the next almost two weeks, so I'm not going to start the sweater. That's just not happening. And I'm not going to start the Hanami sweater. I just cannot knit on a sweater when I'm with the baby. It's just not... My brain doesn't allow me to do that. But I think the shawl might be easy enough. And if not, I'm just going to start something super brainless instead. So, spinning. I showed this bobbin, I think, last week. It's the first ply... Oh, there's a long big hair for me. It's the first ply for a bulky weight three ply for the cat blanket. <laughs> I finished the second ply. It looks like this. It's also Three Waters Farm. I did not bring the label. I have no idea what it is. But these are the first two plies for this yarn. I started the third ply yesterday. And the third ply is Targi. And I don't like that. It spins like Rambouillet. And I didn't like that either. So I just don't like the boinky, springy stuff. But I think this is going to be really nice. And really thick. Which is good because that's what I wanted. And that's it for spinning. I just finished this. I I don't know. I spent so much time sewing actually. That I didn't really spin. So. Uh, that's it for spinning. It's going to be a short one this week. For new stuff. I have two skeins of yarn. That I got from um, Knitterly Things. It's the Vesper Sock Yarn. And she had some seconds which means that she got um, her base from the mill and it was not the way it's supposed to be so she dyed it up anyways and offered it as seconds and I'm gonna show you the problem the problem I don't I don't think it's a problem when you look here you can see that there is a little marled effect on the yarn here it's not how it's supposed to be there shouldn't be a marled marled yeah effect so she did decided that that's not what she wanted and she put it up as seconds and I got two of those. And I love them. This one here is called Memory Remembers. It's self-striping. Is it? Of course it is. It's it's Vesper. Yeah, it's self striping. And the other one is called Oasis. And I have no idea if this is a reference. <laughs> I don't know if it's a reference to the Britpop band or not. But I love Oasis. I really do. So I had to get this. Um, yeah, I only have one more um, Vesper in my stash. And it's a... Um, a very different base because it's super thin and this is nice and plump. I really look forward to this. And I will possibly make both of these pairs for myself. Just because I want to. That's all for new stuff. I got a bunch of fabric but I'm not sure if people want, really want to see it so I'm not going to show it. But I got stuff. If you want to check it out it's on my Instagram. Um, there's no indie of the week because there were any stuff I'm using I talked about a million times before and the other stuff, the Expression Fiber Arts, she's not European, she's in America. And I still want to keep my Indie of the Week to European people. Just because most of you know the American stuff and it just makes sense to me. So, reading, listening, watching. I'm listening to the second book in the Lord of the Rings trilogy. I have about six and a half hours left and I love it. You know, I love Lord of the Rings. It's, it makes me happy. And I started a new series and I'm hooked. I started watching How to Get Away with Murder. It's such a good show. I've watched 10 episodes in two nights and I really wanted to continue watching yesterday, but I got my husband hooked a day late or two. So he still had to catch up. He is at episode 10 now, so we can watch together tonight. 
because there are five more episodes to this season and I really want to finish it before he has to leave. So, yes, I love it. I love this show. It's an amazing show. I don't plan to getting away with murder, you know, <laughs> but I just, I, it's a great show. It's very suspenseful. I like it. And I really hope that lawyers don't work that way, really, in real life, because that's depressing. Now for sewing, which is the biggest part. I'm going to show you my whips and then I'm going to show the finished st stuff. I, like I said last week, finally took my serger in use or to use or whatever. So I had cut out, I think, six or seven garments that I wanted to, to use the serger for. And I made two of those. Or they're not done. I still have to do the twin needle. Well, my <laughs> I still have to do the twin needle stuff on the normal sewing machine, you know, the hemming. But I just didn't want to do that so far, so I didn't. But I made this shirt for my son. I think when I have the the hems all done, it's going to be a bit shorter and it might be fit right now, or it's a bit big. The fabric is just very cute. So this is for Tim and the pattern is from a book. For, oh, I, I have it here. Let me stand up and get it. The book is from a German person. She goes by Klimper Klein. I think she's very well known. And it's this book. It's called Nähen mit Jersey für Babys und Kids. Um, it's just a the normal long sleeve baby shirt. Um, it's super easy. I mean, it's two sleeves, a front and a back. What can go wrong, right? So, yeah. I made this in about 15 minutes, if that. Super easy, super sweet. Then I made the second natty top. But... I cut this a long time ago. So when I first made my first natty top in January, I was bigger. I lost uh, quite a bit of weight since then. So when I first made the natty top, it was too small. So I cut the next one bigger, which is this one, so it would fit because, you know, the first one was too small. And I cut it right after that, the first one. And it's way too big. So I don't know yet how to alter it. I had to go out a lot for my hips because I have white hips. But yeah, this, this it's just not fitting. I don't know what to do. I think I might just take it apart, lay the um, pattern pieces, you know, the paper stuff on top of it and cut to the old measurements of the natty top that does fit and um, redo the whole thing because I really like the fabric and I think it's a, a nice thing to wear in summer and I want to have this but it's just not working right now as you might be able to see when I just lay it on top of me it's just too big so I think the easiest way to alter it is by just taking it apart you know I'm just gonna cut away the seams put it on the floor pin the old paper on top of it because I did not get rid of that and then I will change stuff so that's a mark mark kind of project and um, and then tomorrow we go to a wedding so I wanted to make a dress for myself and a little button down for my son I almost finished the button down it looks like this I have this raccoon fabric I still have to do button band, uh, buttonholes and buttons. That's all that's left. And I have to hand stitch a little bit under the arms. I used a free pattern and let's just say the pattern itself is not bad. My translating it to real life stuff is sucked. So yeah, I had to get creative with the with this here it just didn't work but he's going to wear this to a wedding once 
and probably once after that and that's going to be it because in this size you know they just don't fit in stuff very long and I do think it's cute I love the fabric I'm gonna show it on the back these little raccoons and I'm still thinking about doing a tie for it and I have a light gray fabric that is basically the light gray from the face so that's an option like I said I still have to do buttons and I have buttons here these are repurposed I got those off of a t-shirt that I threw away because it was awful and they fit perfectly so this is what I still need to do and I'm gonna do that possibly as soon as I finish podcasting and I have to close some gaps under the arms but apart from that, I'm really happy with it. I can show you the insides because I did search around all my pattern pieces. What this pattern does and what so confuses me, instead of doing a normal hem, you know, having more fabric and just folding it over twice, she has you attach a whole new piece of fabric. And I don't understand why. This is like almost like a binding on a quilt so if you are a garment sewer please explain to me why on earth this had to be done this way because I don't understand and it looks like this from the inside so there's a whole this whole strip down here was attached afterwards I don't know why but I did it so yeah buttons button holes and some hand stitching and this will be done and ready to wear. I hope it's not too big. Otherwise he will not have anything to wear, which would be a bit weird. But yeah, it's going to be fine. I love it. I love this fabric. I have a little bit left and I'm going to make a project bag for myself because I only have one of my own project bags and I want to have a second one. And this is just a perfect fabric. So. The big thing that I made on Saturday, the Stitchinista and I, we had a sewing day or basically I had a sewing day because she had to help me all the time. So I made a dress and it's this dress. Um, it was a labor of love, let me tell you, because when you are sewing your own garments, you know, you have to... Tr uh, trace the pattern and, and get started but you always have to alter everything because patterns are made for one size so for German sizes I did do the size 40 which was great around the bust but not so great around the waist because I would have needed a 42 there and for the hips a 44 which doesn't really bother me because I have you know the, the skirt is big enough for my hips but we had to alter a lot and yeah with her help I could uh, I could finish everything and it fits now it looks great when I first tried it on before we altered everything I hated it and I uh, went to Instagram and I just I was so pissed because I spent so much time on this and it just looked awful um, then I spent a lot more time on it. I would say all in all about 15 hours. Yeah, I think that's a, that's a good guess. So I spent about 15 hours on this and now it does fit. It looks nice. I'm just going to hold it because I'm not going to wear it now. And yeah, um, what I altered is I put in a lining at the top. You know just the bodice until here and I put in some pockets here in the side seam of the skirt because pockets when you sew something yourself you add pockets that's just what you do because pockets are awesome there's a huh invisible zipper in the back I did not stitch that in I let her stitch that in because I just had um, 
it, it was actually I would have done it myself but I did not have the right uh, presser foot for my sewing machine with me so she had to do it on her sewing machine and I didn't want to do that so yeah that's the dress it fits it looks nice I have decided to wear it very similarly to my second Instagram picture of this with uh, white pumps and I have a mustard yellow cardigan that I will wear with this and I have some earbuds uh, not earbuds <laughs> earrings in the same color so yes it's done I'm very happy with it I actually think about making a second one just out of some cotton unlined just simple summer cotton for a nice and easy summer dress because now I made it once you know I know now what to what to expect so um, let me put this back here and I can come a little closer with this fabric this fabric is embroidered uh, wool and polyester blend with some sequins on it it was a dream to sew really a dream to sew um, it's nice fabric I got it on sale from Boutinette and I just love it it's a bit warm because it's a wool blend and the wedding you know is on 30th of July but I wanted it to be that way I wanted this dress and I made this dress so let's put that away the pattern that I used is a simplicity pattern it's in one of the magazines but the, it is a single pattern and I forgot to check it I, I don't know which one it is but it is this one here and I did uh, this version here that's the one I made the sleeveless but I didn't do the belt because I just thought that's not what I want it's um, if you have magazines of simplicity it's in issue 5 of 2014 that looks like this and it is the, um, pattern number 14 in this as well like I said, it is available um, as a single pattern. It's a good pattern. You just have to measure yourself and your pattern pieces before you start cutting. Because I should have changed things to make it work. There should have been darts in the back, you know, for a women body. <laughs> we had to take those out. Because if I had done that, it just would have not been fitting around here so yeah I like it I like it I love it I think it turned out great it was a lot of love a lot of love no no it was a lot of work but I think it's worth it so that's it for sewing I don't have cross stitch there are three two two knitted lungs going on in the group right now we have the 16 and 2016 which is a sock knit along and there are five finishers so far six with me because I've done my 16 pairs and um, there's the interpretations knit along still going on through the end of September so it's two more months to start and finish stuff and enter in that knit along you can do any pattern from all of the three interpretations books and also there's still the giveaway for the 50th episode going on I decided to leave that open till the end of July which is this Saturday Sunday three days three more days to enter and I will draw a winner for a project bag that I made uh, in my in my first episode in August which will be mid-August somewhere because like I just said twice before I'm gonna be alone with my baby and that's just not podcasting time it's not going to happen so you can enter in that as well and yeah I think that's it for this week it's a short episode I didn't have a lot of knitting I hope I will have stuff to show when I come back in two weeks I can't promise anything if I don't have anything to show I'm not going to podcast and wait until I have stuff to show so I hope you all have a wonderful week 
I enjoy everything you do. Until next time, bye.